Okay, so I want to talk about mushrooms today. And honestly, this is one of the reasons why Four Leaf Rover uh, started was because when my dogs had cancer, I knew that they needed beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are the part of the mushroom. They're little fibers that give mushrooms their medicinal properties. These are the potent immune modulating parts of the mushrooms. And in fact, there's a study that shows that people who eat mushrooms have a lower risk of of all diseases. So beta-glucans are really important, especially if your dog has cancer. The problem is this. Most mushrooms are not mushrooms. And what that means is your dog is not, probably not getting the amount of beta-glucans that they need to help with their immune health. So here's the deal. Not that long ago, there was uh, a, a guy called McCleary in Ireland, and he, he developed something called a Megazyme test. And finally, what that meant was we could test the amount of beta-glucans in mushrooms. Previous to that, they would just measure polysaccharides. Now, beta-glucan is a polysaccharide, but not all polysaccharides have cancer-fighting properties. So what would happen was people would say, oh, my product has this many polysaccharides, but you had no idea how many of those were the active beta-glucans. So what happened was the guys from Megazyme, once they developed this test, they took a bunch of mushrooms and mushroom products and they tested tested them for two things. First, the beta-glucan content, and second, the starch content. And here's what they found. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, they found that natural whole cordyceps mushroom is about 34% beta-glucan. But when they looked at mycelium products, they were only one and a half to 7.6% beta-glucan. My talkie mushroom on average is 32% uh, beta-glucan. However, the mycelium products in those studies were tested at three and a half and 6%. Reishi mushroom is 28% beta-glucan, but the mycelium products in that study tested at 7% and just 1%. And they also tested a lot higher in starch. While mushrooms average just 3% starch, mycelium products average 35 to a whopping 40% starch. So how do you know whether the mushrooms that you're buying your dog are real mushrooms or whether they're mycelium? In front of me, I have, uh, I have two products. This is 100% mushrooms and this is a seven mushroom mix this is also a multi mushroom mix uh, but and it says mushroom on on the jar uh, on the package but this is mycelium how can I tell the difference well there's probably three ways the first is you can tell the difference in color any mushroom that has reishi is going to have this nice dark reishi color uh, the reason why the mycelium is a lighter color is because it's mostly starch whereas this is mushrooms that are grown and ground up the entire mushroom this is just basically uh, the mycelium is for lack of a better word it's, it's like the roots that spider webby part at the bottom of mushrooms. And what they do is they take this mycelium, they put it in a bag of oats or sorghum or rice, and they put it in a plastic bag in a locker so that more mycelium grows and then all the oats and gets ground up with the mycelium. So not only is it lower in beta-glucan, it's a lot higher in starch, and you can see that the carbs give it a lighter color. Now, the second way that you can tell the difference, and again, reishi is kind of your litmus test here. Reishi has a bitter taste and a bitter smell. Now, that's okay, because dogs don't seem to, to mind it, but if your product is made from mycelium, then you're gonna have that grain in it, and it's gonna give it a bit of a sweetish taste and a sweet smell. And then the third way, is not to look at the label because unfortunately, even though manufacturers aren't allowed by the FDA to call 
mycelium products mushrooms they still do so don't trust the label the surest way to find out whether your dog is getting the beta glucans that he needs is to ask your mushroom manufacturer for a certificate of analysis with the beta glucans listed on it now don't be fooled if they try to send you polysaccharides because you know what's high in polysaccharides rice sorghum oats and whatever else the mycelium is grown on polysaccharides won't do it they have to provide you with the beta glucan content and if they can't then my advice is to move on to another mushroom product that will give you a certificate of analysis again mushrooms have so much potential to protect your dog from cancer allergies and other immune disorders because they're potent immune modulators but they're not gonna have as much of a benefit if they don't have those powerful beta-glucans, which are the immune modulating ingredients in mushrooms. So now you know the difference, and hopefully if you're using a mushroom product for your dog, you found out that you actually are using real mushrooms and not beta-glucans. Now, if you have any comments or questions, as always, just leave a comment in the description below. We're always happy to help you out. And if you like this content, please like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.